In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Human Touch Perfect Chair Supreme or Performance Upholstery Package Foam Insert. First thing we're going to do is detach the top of the body pad from the headrest pad. They're attached at the top there um, using hook and loop fasteners. And with the top part of the body pad folded forward onto the seat, we'll use a flathead screwdriver to pry open the connector box cover. And we need to disconnect the uh, black and yellow cables if you have a Supreme upholstery package. If you have performance upholstery package, it'll just be the black cable. And then we can slide the body pad off of the chair frame. Now this would have been easier if we had raised the footrest before we did this. Okay, then we can place the body pad face down on the floor or on a table, open the zipper, and um, remove the foam insert from the pad. Then we can fish that black cable through the hole in the pad there and remove the insert. Next we'll remove the little pink square from the back of the insert, pull out the battery compartment without um, straining the wiring there, and we can use a small screwdriver to open up that compartment as we want to remove the batteries to install them in the new insert. To install the new insert then, we'll start by tucking the corner that has the battery compartment in it up into the upper left hand corner and then working our way around to all the other corners making sure the foam is inserted all the way into each corner. Once it's all nice and even, we can thread that black cable through the hole in the pad, taking up all the slack, and then close the zipper. As you can see, it's helpful to hold the two sides of the fabric kind of close together so you don't put too much strain on the zipper. Okay, then we can open up the little pocket and remove the pink foam square, pull the battery compartment out, um, keeping the wiring intact. We don't want to put any strain on that wiring. Then we can use a small Phillips head screwdriver to open the battery compartment and insert our batteries. You can slide the battery cover back on and replace the screw to secure it. And then without moving that wiring, flip it over and turn that power switch to on. And then tuck it back into its compartment. Once it's nice and flat, we can replace the pink square and then close the zipper. Okay, um, now to get ready to reinstall the pad, this time we're going to uh, raise up the footrest and recline the chair slightly. This will make it easier. Next, we'll insert the footrest frame into the pocket 
on the bottom of the pad set, making sure the footrest frame goes all the way into that pocket as far as it'll go. And keeping the top part of the pad resting on the seat for now. This will let us um, reinstall the cable. Again, in this case, we have a Supreme upholstery package, so we have two cables to connect. And we can put the uh, strain relief in place in the box there and snap the cover on to secure it. We can tuck that box up into the chair canvas. Then we're going to lift up on the seat and pull it up as far as we can toward the backrest and then push the upper part of the body pad into place. It'll attach using hook and loop fasteners. And then we can tuck the top flap up into the headrest pad and push down firmly to attach it using hook and loop fasteners. Okay, then we can um, return the chair to the upright position and lower the footrest. And we're done.